Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm coming to you today with another quick word. I was in my prayer time with the Lord this morning and he was really just downloading into me and pouring into me something about small beginnings. And it's really important that I release this word to you today because a lot of you are going through a season right now where you were in the small beginning stage. And what I mean by that is there, you cannot see the fruit of your labor. It's just a seed right now. And the reason God wanted me to come on, the reason the Lord wanted me to come on and share this word with you today is because it's important that you protect the small beginnings. It's just like a baby, right? If it's a child, right, it's important that you protect the small beginnings like it's a child, right? Because what the enemy has come to do is destroy the small beginning, destroy the seed, right? The enemy isn't after the fruit, right? Because by the time it's a fruit, it's already established. That thing has already come to fruition. That thing has already been established in the earth, right? It cannot be touched, but the enemy is after the small beginnings and it may not look like anything now right and this is why the lord wanted me to come out and release his word to you today because it's so common for people to start something that the lord told them to do and doubt it and be fearful about it and just completely give up on it because they cannot see anything but it's just like when it's a small seed and you put it in the ground you don't see anything but dirt you don't see anything but dirt over the ground. You don't even see the seed, right? You would walk right past the uh, the soil and not know that anything was in the ground. And it's going to be like that for months, right? And if it's a tree, it may be like that for years, right? Think of a tree. Uh, thank you for giving me this example. Think of a tree, right? When you put the seed of a tree in the ground, you don't see the fruit till later, right? You don't even see the fruit until the tree grows, right? So you plant the seed in the ground, years go by, months go by before you even begin to see a tree growing but the tree has to grow first before you can even see the fruit so first there's a seed then there's the tree then there's the fruit right but what the children of God uh, oftentimes do is they will start something they'll put the seed in the ground and when they don't see the fruit they give up right but what they don't understand is that the enemy is attacking the seed that's in the ground he's not worried about the fruit right because if he can attack the seed then the fruit won't even come right and the tree won't even grow. So protect the small beginnings, right? If God told you to start something um, and it's small and you don't see anything, protect that. Pray over it, right? Go into spiritual warfare over it, right? And protect it with your life because the enemy is out to attack the seed that you put in the ground, um, right? I really want you to hear me when I say this. Protect the small beginning and if it doesn't look like anything just like any seed you put in the ground that's okay but it's something brewing beneath the surface the enemy knows it the room everything in the room of the spirit understands that there is something brewing in the surface when it comes to those small beginnings right i really want to leave you with this short word today very very quick um, it was it was an urgency, right? I would even call it a Rima word because there's a lot of people right now in this season, especially since COVID and everything, that are starting something new, right? Especially going into the year of 2022. And what that means is that there's going to be a lot of small beginnings. And some of you may already be in this small beginning stage. Um, and you may be already be experiencing spiritual warfare and it's because the enemy knows there's a seed that you put in the ground, right? And that's with any seed. That's with starting a business. That's with uh, sowing a seed into um, a, a ministry, giving back to someone on the street, whatever seed you've planted, right? The enemy is after the seed, right? And I really want to release this word to you to bring you up into the perspective of God, because even though you can't see what's happening beneath the surface, God can see it. And even if the enemy can't see it, right? He feels it. He understands, right? And it goes back to as well, right? Like before Jesus was born, like the enemy knew that there would come a time when he would be born. And so he was looking for the child, right? He's always looking for the, the small beginning so he can destroy it before the fruit comes to fruition. Because once the fruit is, is out there, then that's it is established in the earth, right? It has already been made manifest. So protect the small beginnings. It's so important that you understand this and that you do this. I'll leave you with that today.